Hello again, good friends. Welcome to subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. Today we're going to continue on the interior restoration of the 2000 E46 323CI convertible BMW. We have a good portion of it done. I have some of it setting back in uh, just temporarily so I can make sure everything's pieced up and fitted right. We're going to work on the center console armrest today. We have the shifter boot finished as well. We also have the steering wheel restored and rewrapped. So let's get the the uh, armrest off so we can rewrap it uh, properly. We take out the ashtray. There are two T15 screws inside of there. We're going to remove those. With those removed, we can pull straight up. Don't pull too hard. There is a wire connected for the ashtray that simply just has a clip on the end. Squeeze it, pull it off. With that out of the way, it reveals yet two more screws underneath that to Phillips head. With those removed, we can gently pick up the piece and pull it away from the center console, making sure we don't rip that wire yet again. And that will reveal two end caps that have uh, springs that we need to uh, take off the tensioner, pull away from the cylinder itself, and then we can pull out the caps. From there, we gently lift up on the lid slowly angle it to a 45 degree angle it will slide off from there unclamp the front clip that holds the uh, armrest closed and we're ready to take it over to the table and start disassembling when we flip it over we have two caps we need to pop off and two rubber nipples those are just there to keep vibration noise down and we have two plastic caps we're going to pop those off they will reveal two tiny phillips head screws With those removed, gently lift up and slide towards the back of the unit. It will uh, release from a clamp towards the front of the lid, and that will reveal yet the trigger system or the locking system for the lid. Two Phillip head screws, and we are just about there. With everything finally disassembled, we can remove the tattered leather and start working on cleaning up the glue. You don't want to go crazy here just tearing things apart. Uh, you do want to be a little mindful of the cushion that is in between the, the leather and the plastic itself. We want to keep that in one piece because the leather rewrap has to go up over top of that. And you'll indeed see, even though the leather was in horrible shape, the foam cushion insert is in one piece. It's solid, and we can reuse it. The leather has been removed from its package. I have it uh, laid out on the table, sort of trying to air it out, get the wrinkles out. So we're going to lay it next to the armrest itself, make sure everything looks copacetic. We have a lot of glue to get off. We want to get off all the old glue. I'm going to do uh, a little bit of combination of scraping it. Um, I'll probably grab a, an exacto knife for that. And then we're going to do some sanding and clean it up. We want the best bond possible uh, with the Loctite and the leather on the inside of the armrest.
Some alcohol wipes will make easy cleanup of any residue left over. I also want to wipe off my fingerprints from touching the area, get any oils or waxes or greases, anything that's left there that will interfere with the bond. Now time for installation. All you're going to need is a few clamps, some light duty, some heavy duty, and the Loctite, and the leather wrap itself. We're going to lay that flat upside down, fit the armrest on top of it, and just work on fitment. Work on everything lining up before we start to adhere the leather to the armrest itself. And when I'm done fiddling around with it and I'm satisfied with alignment, we're going to start with one edge and start to adhere. There's no need whatsoever to go crazy with the Loctite. Just one straight, constant bead all the way across the seam. Wrap the leather up over the inside of the lid and apply your clamps. I have the heavy duty ones I usually keep for uh, corners, edges, and I'll use the light duty ones in between. Let it sit for one minute minimum. After a minute or two, remove those clamps, grab the Loctite, and slowly and carefully go all the way around the edge and make sure you have all the wrinkles pulled out as you go along. Repeat that process all the way around the armrest. I usually save the corners for last. Sometimes you need to do a little bit of trimming. Sometimes you don't. Uh, that's where I have the heavy clamps coming in. They usually hold those in place. This was uh, put together rather well. The cut was perfect. The seaming and stitching was perfect. No problems. There will come some areas that just will not cooperate when trying to use the clamps. Just hold it in place with your fingers. You only need to be there for a minute or two. 
time for reassembly. And this is where things can get real tight depending on how much room they leave you with some of the, the locks, the triggers, the lids that go underneath these uh, uh, areas you're trying to rewrap. You just need to fiddle with it a little bit. Don't force anything. If anything's held in by screws, you're going to see, I'm going to start one, leave it loose, start the other one, and go back and forth and tighten it. So it's wedging itself down into place. And then I'll, I'll go back and make sure uh, everything's tight and nice and snug at the end. Okay, next we have the full length insert that has to go back in. The rubber nipples are going to be placed back in. We don't want any uh, vibration noise. Then we can slide it into place and replace the screws. That's going to do it. We have the new leather wrap on the armrest. It has a nice fit to it. Again, the cut was great. The stitching was great. A little bit of wrinkles to work out here and there. That's where you break out the steamer. No big deal. It will end up fitting nicely after a day or two. That portion of the center console is now complete. I'm just going to set it on top to see what it looks like. I will be pulling out the rest of the center console. We have to restore the rest of that and then the passenger seat. The driver's seat is getting rewrapped. I will show in the next portion, uh, the next episode of the vlog, how we rewrap the entire seat, the passenger seat. That's going to be about it for this episode of the vlog. Uh, the plastic, the leather, the trims coming along nicely. We're going to pull everything back out, go over the rug, and we do have some new flooring. That'll be a nice surprise coming up, a nice episode. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.